What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart in Dyer, Indiana. A whole new yard, never been here before. And I got four cool cars I think you're gonna enjoy today. So let's jump into this with number one on my list. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's pouring rain, so I'm probably not gonna make this a very long video. And and I still have to pick up my car. I mean, it is really, it's, it's raining pretty good. Uh, what year is this, Mike? I think it's an 01. An 01? Look at that. Yeah, 01, 02. 02 S600 V12, and this is a parts car. Guys, go check out Monkey Wrench Mike. He's got one of these, and he's actually, I think he's about done with it. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't, he, ready. shouldn't have said that. Now that you me. Yeah. Go check out Monkey Wrench Mike, man. He's, he's brave with all these Mercedes that he buys, just hoping for the best. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does. Nobody else could get away with that. Anyway, here we go. V12 Mercedes S600. No miles on the odometer, probably because it's dead. It's a total loss, and it's a parts-only vehicle. Wow. 01. 01. She's laying on the ground. She's flat. This thing is in... I know it, lo it actually looks pretty good on video because it's raining, but I promise you this car does not look good in person. Now, now, Mike told me there's a surprise on the dash, so I'm hoping this isn't a Christine moment where someone defecated on the dashboard. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Somebody sliced this thing up. Look at this. Oh, my God. Someone put ho on the dashboard, carved that in there. Oh man, this poor car, that's a shame. So I can tell you right now, this is a vandalism, which means it probably runs. It should run. Oh, definitely, definitely. This should run guys. Oh, they carved ho on the steering wheel too? Ooh, oh man, wow. <laughs> Somebody was real upset. Somebody was real upset. Thankfully, somebody had full coverage and that's why it sits here today. Now why they junked it, I don't know. There's all that water getting into the sand modules. So you can't jump start this car from under the hood, guys. You gotta, you gotta go through the trunk. So Mike's gonna climb through the back seat into the trunk. And uh, I'm gonna sit in a dry car while he does it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh man, that's awful. The key is in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the key out, use the key to get in the trunk, and let's try to jump start this car. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what it does. 97,000 miles. Let's cycle the key a couple times. It takes a lot of juice to run one of these, man. That'll burn down that booster pack fast. Under 100,000 miles. Only Shh. says 11 volts. Ah, uh, well. She may not start, guys. No. She's done. Dang it, that was a lot of work for nothing. <laughs> well, it said that it didn't run. I just didn't believe it. That's what it was, I didn't believe it. I thought it would fire right up. Yeah, look how long it's been sitting, dude. 97,000 miles though. And it dropped to nine when you tried to start it. Yeah. Yeah, the battery's dead. And unfortunately, this little booster pack trying to start a V12, it can do it. But something tells me this car hasn't been running in a very, 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 very long time. So unfortunately, we tried. We did not succeed, but that's okay because right next to the Mercedes S600, we have a BMW X6. Next on my list, 2009 BMW X6. This thing is sick. 
I love the way this looks. X5, or sorry, X6, X Drive. Look at her, she's clean. I don't know what it's doing here. Uh-oh, there's antifreeze in the back though. <laughs> there's antifreeze in the back. It's got power. She's got juice. Oh, ho, ho. Uh oh, she runs. She runs. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's clean. It smells good. It's got a lot of lights on the dash. Park, check engine, steering. 100,931 miles. Suspension issue as well. Parking brake is off. I want to put it in gear real quick. Uh-oh, reduced engine performance light just came on. Goes backwards. Goes forwards. And park. 4x4 four four error. Oh, she's got all kinds of problems. <laughs> 100,000 miles. This is what gets me. 100,000 miles on a BMW, man. And the 4x4 doesn't work. The check engine light's on. Engine power reduced. The suspension doesn't work. It, 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 they're nice. They really are. I mean, look at this luxurious interior. She's beautiful. It smells great. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's everything else. These things just... These things just fall apart, man. Oh, man. She's got problems. She's got problems. Nice tires as well. Oh, wow. Look at that twin turb ski motor under there, man. That thing looks tough. She's missing the engine cover. Something tells you that's the least of her problems. 4x4 four four light is on, check engine light's on, reduced engine performance light, light is on. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of problems. It does sound a little, it, it, it's a little ticky, a little tappy. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You should buy this one to drive it home. <laughs> I'll follow you. I'll make it. I'll make it. Man. Unfortunately, guys, I'd like to spend more time looking at this stuff with you guys and make some longer videos, but, I mean, Mike and I are both soaking wet. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. Here comes the heavy rain again. Smell that? It smells good. Uh -huh. He's like, no, nah, I don't know about that. It smells different. But I like this thing. It's very nice. Really? It's very nice. Did it just die? No, I turned it off. She's got problems, man. She's got problems. It is a very nice vehicle though. It really is. Guys, let's move along from the X6 and over here to, I would not buy this personally. This is a, I, don't, I think it's a 2010 Land Rover Range Rover Sport, which should be the supercharged 5.0, I, I think. I think this is supercharged. I think it's a supercharged 5.0 liter. This one has like 165,000 miles on the odometer. And I bought this very same one for like $1,500 from Copart or IA a while back. This one, however, is $7,500. Let's check it out. All right, so here it is, guys. She looks pretty... I know, y'all want to see that. That's You just got to wait a minute, all right? There she is. She's sitting a little low in the front. I wonder if this is a run and drive. The body looks pretty good. It really does. I tell you guys all the time, it's got a, if it's got a service tag in it, that concerns me. That concerns me. Oh, it's a CarMax car too. That's another thing. CarMax usually sells their own cars. They'll send this type of stuff to auction. If they can't sell it on their lot, then it goes here to die. So seeing that leaves me very, very concerned. Let's take a look at it. It is supposed to run and drive, and I know from the pictures that the interior is in absolutely gorgeous condition. Look at this. 
I mean, it is beautiful, guys. She's got power. The radio just came to life. Man, this, this is really nice on the inside. And the body looks really, really good, too. Uh-oh. Well, there's, there's where the key would have been. Uh, oh, no. We're going to run into our first one with no key today? It looks like we are. Uh-oh. Nope, no key. Huh. I'll look around on the dash. Already, oh, wow. Okay, there's some sunglasses and deodorant and stuff in there, but no key. Maybe it fell down. I don't know. I can tell you this, without a key, we ain't going to get very far with this one, guys. That's okay, because I'm sure most of you already just move on over to the Firebird anyway. I want to check this one out first, so let's take a look. Let's give her a chance. There's no key. I don't see a key in here anywhere. Um, keep hoping maybe it fell between the fell between the seats or something above the visor. Nope. Well, let's get in it and let's try to start it. Let's see if it'll do anything. Smart key not found. Oh no. No. Well, I guess that means that the key is not inside of it because if it was, nope. If the key was in here, this thing should be starting right now and it's not. It was a run and drive. So yeah, there's a good possibility that somebody was, was out here and they just, uh, they stole it. It happens. It happens, sucks, but it is what it is. That engine looks that engine looks rusty. Wow, and there's an awful lot of coolant in there. Look at all that coolant. Wow. That's concerning. Okay. <laughs> you know what time it is. We got to move on over here to the fire chicken. All right, guys, let's get this over with. This is the one y'all been waiting for. This is the thumbnail, a 1972 Pontiac Firebird. It's supposed to be a run and drive, and yes, I am cheating because I'm standing under an awning trying not to get any wetter. But we're gonna go out here and take a look. This is an absolutely beautiful car, guys. Beautiful, look at the wheels, the tires, very, very nice. Of course, it's raining, so the paint looks really, really good as well. But I think the paint probably looks pretty dadgum good even when it's dry. Look how the water is beating up on it. Listed as a run and drive. There's the lot number if it's something you want to check out. 98,176 miles on the odometer. Let's take a peek at the interior. Oh, she looks original. I wonder if this paint, no, this paint is not original. You can see the original color there. Much different shade of green on the outside. Oh man, she smells really musty. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at this. This is a run and drive, really. Okay, if they say so, man. If they say so. I don't think there's a hood release. I think that's on the outside. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Where's the damn key? Oh, come on, man. Come on. Don't tell me it's missing the key. It is. It is. It's missing the key. Yeah, I'm gonna close this door. Boy, it is musty in here. Wow. Uh, there's the key. Found it. Found it. You just gotta look. Uh oh. Oh ho! She's dead. She tried, but she's dead. So we gotta go out there. We gotta fire this baby up. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about this one. I found the key. Yeah, I found the key. It's in the glove box. They just gotta figure out how to open the hood on this. Uh, hell, I don't remember. Nope, nope, there it is. There it is. All right, guys, let's see what she does. Please run, because now I am completely and utterly soaked. Whoa! Whoa! 
Oh! Oh man, listen to that. Oh, that sounds beautiful. This was worth getting soaked over. Oh, ho, ho, listen to her. Oh my goodness. That sounds amazing. I could just sit here and listen to this all day. <laughs> what do you think? I like. You need I to like. get out of these Mercedes, man. You need to get into something like yeah. this. I wish I knew more about them. You don't need to know anything about them. If you can work on an S600, yeah. you can work on a 72 anything. Can you add air conditioning to it? It probably has air conditioning. It doesn't have air conditioning. Yeah, you can add air conditioning through vintage air. Yeah. Oh man, guys. It's got air it's got air conditioning. Yeah. You roll the windows down. Go 70 miles an hour. That's air that's air conditioning. Other than the carburetor and the Holly uh valve cover, she she looks relatively stock. It says Engines by Hash. I don't know who Hash is, but apparently Hash built the motor for this, so Engines by Hash. Oh, she's fire, guys. Well, I should be careful saying that around these old cars. She's, <laughs> she's a hot one. She's a hot one, man. Functional hood scoop. It's for more than looks. It actually does something. Wow. This thing's a beauty, guys. I'm gonna sit this out of here because my booster pack is soaking wet. So is my camera. Hopefully the audio is still working on it. Just listen to her. All right. Let's sit inside it real quick. Oh. The door closes so easily. Put it in gear. There it is. There it is. She moves. I I want this. <laughs> I gotta stop. I haven't even picked up my new car yet. I've got I've got a 73 Roadrunner sitting here. I haven't even seen my 73 Roadrunner yet. It's sitting out in the yard somewhere. I haven't seen it. I haven't picked it up. And already I'm sitting here looking at this. And I'm like, I want this car. I want this car. Turn signals work. It's got a full tank of gas. Oh, she sounds like a beast, guys. Oh, I would rock this. I would so rock this car. Man, that musty smell. There's just something about it. I really like it. I really like it. Guys, unfortunately, this is the last car. So we are done. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this video. My battery's dead. My camera equipment's wet. I'm wet. It's cold. We're done. Because now we have to go find the Roadrunner and see it for the first time in the pouring rain and hope that it runs. Can you imagine having to work on the car if something's wrong with it in, in this? <laughs> yep, I said it. If it's broken, if something's wrong with it, we're, we're, we're in big trouble because this rain is not supposed to stop. Anyway, I want to give a big shout out to Monkey Branch Mike and to Copart for allowing us to come up here and for staging all of these cars for us, for bringing them up here for us to make it easier on us. Thank you so much to them. I truly appreciate it. And thank you to each one of you that watch these videos and make this possible. You guys rock. If you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. Drop your comments down below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. 
and stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.